equipment dismantling is one of the key tasks of decommissioning. In the first place, cleaner equipment is dismantled, most part of which, after decontamination, can be sold as scrap metal. For this purpose, a facility for release of radioactive materials from regulatory control has been created. After decontamination, metal is formed into batches, placed in a measuring container and packed into film. Large-sized items are packed as separate fragments. Then metal is transported to the facility for release of radioactive materials from regulatory control. The facility's equipment is located in a separate building, in which conditions for measurement of a level of activity of controlled radionuclides are created. The building inside is conditionally divided into four zones. Zone for preliminary control of vehicles with metal batches. Zone for placement of containers and large-sized fragments before the measurement and for placement of return containers. Zone for measurement of containers and large-sized materials. Zone for materials that comply with the criteria of release from regulatory control. After the positive preliminary control, materials are located in the placement zone. Then containers are moved to the measurement zone, put on a conveyor of a stationary gamma spectrometry measuring system and automatically moved in a shielded measuring tunnel. Based on the measuring results, the containers that comply with the criteria are moved to the zone for materials that can be released from regulatory control. The containers that do not comply with the criteria are returned to the zone for preliminary control to be transported to a place of batch formation. Large size materials are measured by mobile gamma spectrometry measuring devices. After obtaining a positive decision about the release from regulatory control, the materials are delivered to a recipient by railway or automobile transport. 